Good afternoon. We're continuing with Scorpio, the chapter three of the book, The Redeemer, and how God made the stars. And Scorpion is the conflict. But we're, we're continuing and we're going to the next chapters. It's actually the next uh, parts is actually two parts, but they're in one. It's Serpents and Ophiuchus. Serpents is the serpent. If you can see the serpent winding its way around down here, and then you see Ophiuchus is the serpent holder. The serpent is seen struggling vainly in the powerful grasp of the man who is named Ophiuchus. In Latin, he is called Serpentarius. He is at one and the same moment shown to be seizing the serpent with two hands and treading on the heart of the, the scorpion. The deep red star and Terrace is red showing that he's wounding the serpent in his heart. Just as we read the first cancellation of the woman and child coma as expounding the first sign Virgo, so this first constellation is expounding the second sign Libra. Hence, we have here a further picture showing the object of this conflict on the part of the scorpion. In Scorpio, we see merely the effort to wound Ophiuchus in the heel that robbed the first man of his crown. But in vain, he struggled to wrest it from the sure possession of the second man, which is Jesus. First man was Adam. Not only does he fail in the attempt, but is himself utterly defeated and trodden underfoot. The scorpion, the scorpion is trodden underfoot by the man. There are 134 stars in these two constellations. The brightest star is in the serpent. In the neck is named Unuk, which means encompassing. Another Hebrew name of this bright star is Alia, the accursed. From this, Al-Hai in Arabic means the reptile. The next brightest star is in the jaw, named in Arabic Shelib or Shelbara, the serpent enfolding, serpent coiling, trying to coil around this man. The Greek name Ophiuchus, the serpent holder, the man, is from the Hebrew and Arabic name Alphiuchus, which means the serpent held or holding the serpent. The brightest star is in, in Ophiuchus is in his head. It's called Ras El Hagus in Arabic, the head of him who holds. Right up here in the head. You can see, that, see it up in the head? Right up there. Other Hebrew names of stars are Triophus, treading underfoot. Saif, the foot of Ophiuchus, bruised. Carnivus, the wounded, Megaros, contending. All these combine to set before us in detail the nature of the conflict and its final issue. The final issue is, however exhibited in the last of the three constellations of this chapter, the victor himself 
requires a whole picture to fully set out the glorious victory. Here, the next one. And so that's the two chapters, the serpent, I mean the two parts of the chapter, serpent and the serpent holder. And they're together in the picture. You can't separate them. They're seen together. Two constellations, one story. How the conflict unfolds. Thank you very much.